Well, good afternoon and welcome to a very, a very hot afternoon. It is orange and smoky and hot and apocalyptic. I don't know. It's just an awful, awful day. <laughs> Not only is it hot, but it is smoky. Not as smoky as it has been. You know, the, the day that I showed you when I was redoing my Christmas tree, I've never seen it that smoky since, but today it is smoky and it just gets everywhere. Everywhere just smells and tastes of smoke and your eyes go all sore and everything, but it is what it is. Not much we can do about it. It's mother nature for you. Anyway, um, I've just finished the edit for yesterday's vlog where I made my scrunchie. I actually haven't got it in. I've just got greasy bun hair uh, because I'm like, if it's going to be hot, I'm not going to wash my hair because I'll just, it'll just get ruined and it'll just frizz out like nothing. So anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you about my hair. This morning I did, I'm pretty sure I've done about 95% of my Christmas shopping. I was able to get a lot of stuff for the kids. So I have a big bag here and then another big bag here. You can't really see it because it's so dark. It's just been one of those days where I'm trying to get as much stuff done because I'm back at work for the next three days because obviously it's the weekend because I work weekends. So I'm trying to get as much done now, today, before I have three days on at work. And then next week it'll be Christmas Eve, Eve, Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day. So I don't really have very much time to get myself organized and stuff. I am always one to leave things to the last minute. I'm a serial procrastinator. I think most of you already know this. So I have left things to the last minute. But I work well at the last minute. I just get it all done. There's no faffing. You just get it done. And now I feel a little bit better. I also had a birthday present to buy as well for my nephew Noah. It is, it is his birthday on Sunday the 22nd. We are still waiting for baby to arrive. Amy is very pregnant and she's over it. So I can understand that, especially in today's heat. So we're hoping it's going to happen in the next day or so. Never know. Noah might have a little baby brother born on his birthday. That has been my morning so far. I don't really know what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. It's about 20 to 3. It's hot. I don't want to do anything. I would sew. I would really like to get a little bit more of my Christmas quilt done. But oh, it's just too hot to sew and it's so smoky and it just it just really brings down your mood. <laughs> you just don't want to do anything because it's just so yuck. So I don't know whether to just sort out presents, maybe do a little bit of wrapping. It's a hard choice of what to do. I'm not too fussed about not wrapping today because I can easily do that uh, next week, you know, a couple of days before Christmas. But geez, it's hot. Uh, we'll put the aircon on a little bit later. You know what I might do is I might redo my <laughs> my floppy wreath here. This went down a treat with all of you guys. I received some really great feedback on this tutorial and I'm glad that some of you have actually made it. Some of you have shared your beautiful wreaths with me on Instagram and they are all so lovely. I love them. So I might just spend some time unpicking this and redo it and see if I can make it just look a little bit better and not so, you know, sad looking. I think that sounds like a plan. Happy days! So the video for today is uploaded and scheduled for you to watch at 5pm my time. I don't know what time that is in your time, but it's up and it's ready for you to watch when the time comes. I'm just going to sit, listen to some music and undo this thingy and see if I can make it look a little bit better. I'm armed with my trusty seam ripper. The one that I use is by Clover. It's great. I've had it for years and it's just brilliant. So I'm gonna just hack away at this. See if I can undo it the best I can and fix it. didn't take that long at all. I thought I was going to be here for like a good five minutes on doing that. But I uh, know. Oh actually I do still need to undo it. I need to undo one of the ends. So I think that's the best one. I might leave that one there. We'll undo this one. Oh what's going on here? I 
match my three ends of free. So I'm gonna undo it, rebraid it. I'll possibly do it a little bit tighter, I think, and see if that sort of makes it just a little bit, you know, better. Got to clean up as I go. I am the kind of person that needs to clean up as I go and have my space almost like spotless with every step. <laughs> I cannot work in mess. <laughs> no, I'm not productive in that. So, wee. That's like an octopus. Ooh. There's our tighter braid. Bring it around. That looks so much better. It feels a lot better too. Yay. I do have a little bit extra on the end here, so I've just sort of tucked it under and I'll just sew them into place the best I can. go there's a second attempt at this wreath it looks a lot better it's a lot more sturdier it's not as sort of like it's not as loose as it was the bow is causing me some issues I'm still sort of faffing around with it to make it look perfect but yay it looks a lot better and I'm very very happy with it mm. this side looks a little bit odd so I'm just gonna have to kind of faff around with it and get it looking good but I'm happy with that now. So I thought I'd give you an update on the embroidery. That's what we're up to so far. So the other night I got all of the green finished and then I started on the yellow. And tonight I've just started this side of the ribbon. I'm actually really quite happy with the yellow. It's really brought out the green. So I think once I get the ribbon done and then pop all of the red bits in with the berries it's actually gonna look quite cool I'm still thinking of doing like a metallic silver for the sort of chain parts and I'm still undecided about the jewels we'll see what it looks like as we go along I think but I'm now just going to continue with this part here and then move on if I get to it okay update I decided to stay up and finish the ribbon I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. It has definitely made the green part stand out, like I said before, but it looks really good. I'm happy that I chose that colour. I was worried that it was just going to like blend in, but I like it. So when I next get a chance, I will start doing the red berries, and then we'll see what it looks like. It should sort of really bring it all together. Happy days! Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's not really the right angle. There you go. I moved you up. I think I've had a costume change since I was last on screen. It got too hot in the afternoon in what I was in, so I changed. And then I also gave the the dog a bath. So it was just easier just to do it in the dress, in my lovely dress that I wear all the time. As always, before I end the day, we are going to do the advent calendar. It is getting so light now, like there's hardly anything in it. We're up to day, it's day 19, right? That's right. Yeah. So we only have 19, five more days. Four more days after today. Mm -hmm. My broken 18 door, I think I might just take that off. Yeah. Bye door 18. We got a fine door. 19. Oh, she's all the way off the top here. Oh, that's nice and easy. Sweet. It's a little door, so it's going to be something little. Fun, I hope. Let's see. Ooh, it's a pin cushion. How fun is that? It's a little strawberry pin cushion. That's super sweet. That's really lovely. I like that. And I like that it's spotty too so it looks like a strawberry but you know I do love a good spotty fabric so awesome so as I mentioned I think earlier in the vlog I am working the next three days and they are full kind of full-on days so I'm gonna do what I did the 
was it wasn't last weekend it was the weekend before i'm not going to put a vlog out every single day i'm going to film each day and then put all three days into one big vlog on monday so the vlog coming out on monday will be day what is it it's the 20th tomorrow day 20 21 22 so it'll be friday saturday and sunday it just makes it easier for me as i mentioned before it's just a little bit less stressful it's just one thing i don't have to worry about <laughs> on the days that i'm working I'm like one track mind. It's all I want to worry about. I know you guys all understand and you're all okay with that. I'll do my best to film as much as I can Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And until then, I will see you on Monday when those vlogs come out. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. It's the weekend before Christmas. So I hope you all get your shopping done if you haven't done it already. Kudos to you if you have. But if you do have a busy weekend this weekend... I hope you enjoy it and are safe and are happy and yeah, I will see you on Monday. Bye!